Hello, potato. If you watch this channel regularly, and you probably don't, but if you did, you would know that I am a bit of a fan of weird food crossovers, because some of them are quite good. Like the recent Maruchan Funyuns or the Sour Patch Kid Oreos, and then some of them are not so good, like the Hidden Valley Ranch Ice Cream or the Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew, both of which are culinary low points to this channel as far as I'm concerned. And today's new one is definitely on the weird side, and it's actually multiple items. It's not like, you know, where we had Maruchan Funyuns, where we had Maruchan flavored Funyuns and like Funyun flavored Maruchan. They didn't do that, at least as far as I know they didn't do that. I would, if, if I find that there is Funyun flavored ramen out there, I'll definitely give it a try. But today's item is actually two items because the crossover went both ways. We have, on the side of beverages, from Coke Creations, you know, the people that brought us space-flavored Coke and Rosita-flavored Coke and marshmallow-flavored Coke, the musician, not marshmallows, we have limited edition Oreo Coke Zero Sugar. Not Coke Zero anymore, Coke Zero Sugar. Now, I'm going to say, this may be controversial, I actually kind of prefer Coke Zero to original Coke. Yeah, go ahead, flame me in the comments. I said what I said. I kind of prefer Coke Zero. If you give me a choice between Coke and Coke Zero, I'm probably going to go with the Coke Zero. Now, will I go with Oreo Coke Zero? Well, that we will find out shortly. It's fizzy, cookie-flavored Coke Zero, because why not? And it looks like yeah, they've kind of made it shaped like a, uh, a Coke bottle there, so that's appropriate. Now, I said this goes both ways. We don't just have Oreo-flavored Coke. We also have Coke-flavored Oreos, which I realize now, having finally put together that that's supposed to look like a Coke bottle, that that is also supposed to look like a Coke bottle. To me, that's look like a wristwatch. But I realize now it's the same shape. It's meant to be shaped like a Coke bottle. So over here we have Oreo Coca-Cola with popping candy. Now, we've had popping candy Oreos before, I believe, and they, uh, they weren't all that great. I know we got popping candy in chocolate bars before, and that was also not fantastic. But hey, on here, on the Oreos, you can scan here to unlock bestie mode. I don't know if you can get the glare. There you go. Pause there, and you can try to scan that and unlock bestie mode. I will promise you, it is absolutely not worth it. It uh, just takes you to a page showing Coke and Oreos being besties, not forever, but for a limited time, which I think it says on the box here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Besties forever for a limited time. Also a link to, I guess, bestie mode in Spotify. And for some reason, a partnership with Forever 21, which I didn't check out because I am very far from 21 and male. And even if they have clothes for males, I'm pretty sure they won't have anything in my size. So today we are going to check out Coke Zero Oreo and Oreo Coca-Cola with popping candy flavored junk food. It's not, I mean, food is, food is probably being generous. Now this, this is one of the things that makes, does make me wonder, you know, what are, what are we doing here? Is this uh, a sign of the, you know, late stage capitalism again, rearing its head that we're crossing over the junk food streams? I don't know, but is it good? That's the important thing. And look, you can follow them on uh, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter at Oreo, because I'm sure if anybody else tried to get that, they would stomp them out of existence. Servings on these is two cookies, a mere two cookies. 140 calories, 4% of your daily sodium, and the number one ingredient is, unsurprisingly, sugar. Over here, do we have proper nutrition label on this? We, yeah, we do. Watch me, I'm gonna shake it all up, and then it's gonna fizz all over the place. Zero calories per serving. Serving is one can, now these are the tiny cans. They aren't, they aren't the full-size cans, but there's also still 12 of them, so hopefully this is good. 2% of your daily sodium, and the number one ingredient is water. Well, it's not too surprising either. So let's, uh, let's crack this open. And we'll start off, we'll start off with the Oreo flavored Coke Zero. I'm supposed to just do this, aren't I? <clears throat> I've never been a, somebody who like did that. Yeah, they're, they're actually not that much smaller than a normal sized can when you, when you really look at it. They're not those like teeny tiny cans. They're like something between the teeny tiny cans and the, the full size cans. At least to me, I never buy the tiny cans. So let's crack ourselves open. 
an Oreo Coke Zero. Oh, well, it's fizzy. Give it a pour. Unsurprisingly, looks like Coke. This is like Coke too. Let's give it a smell. Kinda just smells of Coke Zero to me. Yeah, I'm really just getting the Coke Zero smell here, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's give it a try. It's like Coke Zero with some extra sweetness to it. I don't know if I would say it's Oreo. If you gave it to me when I say it, would I identify Oreo out of this? I'm getting maybe just like a slight, a slight chocolatiness on the back of the tongue. It's not like overwhelmingly Oreo flavored. It's not as strongly flavored as some of the other flavors have been. It's there, but it is mostly Coke, which is not a bad thing. It's not bad. We're definitely not in Hidden Valley Ranch ice cream or Peeps Pepsi territory. This is drinkable. Would I buy it again? Probably not. It's a, it's a gimmicky thing. And let's face it, I bought it to do a video on. That's like 90% of what this channel is, is an excuse to buy stupid stuff like this and try it in the justification that it's content for a video that 10 people will watch. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's not a revelation. It's not some fantastic thing that I'm like, ooh, they should make this a regular item. But it's also not awful. Yeah, the Oreo flavor is definitely light. It's not, it's not overpowering. If you like Coke Zero or Coke Zero Sugar, then you're probably going to be fine with this. But not necessarily wowed. This is just more of a thing to try, not a thing to, like, fall in love with. Let's try our Oreos. Will they taste... Will it taste as much of Coke as the Coke tasted of Oreo? We have popping candy to make them fizzy, which... I don't know, that's... This actually opens like an old package, doesn't it? Oh no, there it is. I'll see. I was trying to open it the old way, like, well, these all flaps now. And yeah, this does. This is no exception. There's a flap here. Let's open them up. Now, so immediately you can see, you know, you can see on the package, but... The interesting thing is that they do have red Oreo cookies. I don't think I've ever had a red Oreo before. It's not one that said Coke. Although not... The package says Coca-Cola. Do they... Are they different? Oh, there's different ones. There are different designs on the cookies. They did have... They had, like, Pokemon Oreos at one point, didn't they? And they had, like, different designs on them. And just, you know, just for, for control's sake, I do, unsurprisingly, I'm sure, have some normal Oreos here to try as well. Just to compare them to, I don't have any normal Coke Zero to try against, but I do have some normal Oreos. So, here's our Coke Oreo. One side is normal Oreo cookie, one side is the red Coke cookie. And then in the middle, we have our creme, which I'm sure has somewhere in it, I guess, Pop Rocks. I don't see them. I see just like red and brown cookie. Is it just me? Or is the red cookie a little bit thinner? than the chocolate one. Well, let's try it, and then we'll kind of dissect it a little bit and try the try the sum of its parts. Mm, I should have sniffed it first. It smells different. It definitely tastes different. I'm not feeling any popping, but it's got a lighter sweetness to it than Oreo normally does. I don't know if it tastes like Coke exactly, but it does kind of remind me of like cola flavored candies. It's interesting. I, I would say it's not as good first off as the um, Sour Patch Kids were, but it's not repulsive or anything either. It definitely tastes more like cola than that tastes like cookie, which is interesting and not bad. But you know, I'm not getting I'm not getting any of that popping, any of that fizzing. I'm not getting any pop rocks kind of stuff going on here. Now I don't really need to because it does taste drastically different. I kind of thought it would just 
I don't know why, I kind of thought it would just taste a little bit like a normal Oreo with something else, in the same way this tastes... Oh, I think I'm getting some Pop Rocks now. I think the problem with putting Pop Rocks in something is that you chew it up and then you swallow it and you never really get the Pop Rock experience. I got like a couple little pops there, probably didn't even get picked up on the microphone, and uh, that's been it. So the, the popping candy is not, not serving a real purpose here. But I had the normal Oreos come on to like have a comparison just to see how different it tasted. Because again, this doesn't taste to me that different than normal Coke Zero. This does taste drastically different to a normal Oreo, but since they're here, might as well try one. See, so, say less sweet. That strong, deeper cocoa flavor. This is this is lacking entirely. It's very much of a lighter flavor. It tastes very much of cola. Again, not necessarily Coke, but like cola can, like a cola gummy or something, cola jelly bean. That's what this tastes of. So let's dissect it a bit and see what the parts taste of individually. So like, is this a normal Oreo cookie? Or is this like something, is there a different flavor here? Is all the flavor in the cream with all the flavor in the red cookie? Let's try the black cookie. I'm not getting the cola flavor, but I don't know if it's as dark as, as dark of a cocoa flavor as like the normal Oreo. No, it's the same. So the Oreo side is a standard Oreo cookie. So what's the Coke side? That could explain why it's thinner too, if it's a different cookie. A little crisper maybe. I'm getting like a slight cola flavor, but that could be from the creme. I think ultimately it tastes more like the blonde Oreo. Those, uh, those yellow ones. It tastes more like that. I think I'm getting, I'm getting a little cola flavor, but I think that's coming off of the residue from the creme. So let's try some of the creme. So that by itself, I can feel the Pop Rocks. You can hear it because it's crunching, even though I just had cream. But I'm still not getting much of the fizzing popping action. There's a little bit there, but not as much as I necessarily would expect something that, you know, that advertises popping candy in it. Weirdly, deconstructed, I'm not getting that strong cola flavor as much. Nothing here individually tastes as strongly cola to me as the whole cookie did together. So that's very weird. But the, the creme definitely does not taste like normal Oreo creme. It's awesome. You can just see texture wise, it's different. It's, it comes off easier. It does have the Pop Rocks in it. And there's more of it. You get a thicker creme filling than you do on a standard Oreo cookie. So I suppose while we're here, there's one more thing we do have to do. We are, I think, just social media wise bound to do it. And that is of course dip the Coca-Cola cookie in the Coca-Cola drink. Dip our Coke Oreo into our Oreo Coke, which is probably a horrible idea. Well, look at this fizzing. It's reacting to the sugar in the cookie, I'm guessing, in the same way, you know, like Mentos and Diet Coke do. All right, let's give it a try. Well, it kind of enhances the cola flavor, actually. But I mean, I would still encourage you just to dunk it in milk. It is weird though, how the cookie all put together tastes more cola than any of the aspects on their own. I only get a vague cola taste off of that. I don't get that strong of a cola taste off of that. And that is just like a basic Oreo cookie. I mean, that is where the cola flavor is coming from, but something to do, I don't know, something the sugars or whatever in the cookies play off of it to enhance the overall flavor in a way that you just don't get having the pieces separated. Might as well finish our wet cookie here. I think the way it's fizzing up in the glass is in general how well you can see that on camera, but the cookie fizzes in the glass a little bit. All right. Yeah, dipping it in the uh, soda is not 
awful. It's not repugnant. It's also not particularly fantastic. I wouldn't encourage. I mean, do it for your TikTok, of course, but. But don't like do that just like as the way you're going to eat these. So overall, like what's the final judgment on these? These are definitely more interesting than the Coke. They have more of a soda flavor, a cola flavor, not necessarily Coke flavor. They could just have released these as like cola flavored Oreos and they would have been exactly the same. I don't specifically get Coke off of this, I get cola. But they definitely do taste different than normal Oreos. This tastes very much like normal Coke Zero to me with like a slight chocolatiness to it. It is not one of the stronger standout Coke Creations flavors, but it's interesting. It's an interesting crossover. It's better than the Peeps Pepsi was. So I definitely want to give them that. It's not bad. It's just not, it's not exciting. I mean, I, excitement is a lot to expect from a zero calorie soda, but yeah, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't stand out as much as the cookies. The cookies are visually different. They taste like massively different from normal Oreos. I think if you gave somebody some of the Coke Oreos and a glass of Coke Zero and didn't tell them anything else, didn't tell them they were related to each other, I don't know that they would guess that this is supposed to taste of Oreo. They would obviously guess it's supposed to taste of Coke because it says Coca-Cola on it and it tastes like cola. If they didn't say Coca-Cola on it, I think they wouldn't necessarily know it's supposed to be Coke. They would just guess like soda maybe. But they're definitely interesting. I'm glad I tried them. I will almost certainly finish these off. I just probably won't buy any more of them. These, I don't know, I'm not, I don't tend to go back and buy Oreo flavors a second time. Even the uh, Sour Patch ones that I actually liked, I never bought again. So it'll probably depend on whether my wife likes these or not. If she likes them, we may get more. If she doesn't, then this will probably be it. But that is my experience, my first taste, my first reaction to trying Oreo Coke and Coke Oreos. Have you tried these yet? What did you think of them? Let me know in the comments below. And what is your favorite like weird food crossover item like the Doritos Lays and stuff like that. What is what is your favorite one and what is your least favorite one? Uh, my least favorite one obviously is Hidden Valley Ranch ice cream with flaming hot Mountain Dew very close on its tail. But I want to know what yours are. So let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.